It is 3 p.m. in Rotterdam, 9 p.m. in Klang, Malaysia, 8 a.m. in Kingston, Jamaica, and 6 a.m. here on the west coast of beautiful Southern California. Today is October the 6th, 2022, and we are live at the Long Beach Coast Guard Base to share with you all a very special moment for the ocean cleanup as we are about to, inter to tow Interceptor 007 from the Coast Guard Base to Bayona Creek next to Marina Del Rey. I am Dan Vanderkoy, and yes, for the next five to six hours, we are gonna be towing this beautiful machine over here that you can see to Bayona Creek. We've been working on this project since about October of 2019, and today is the day. We have boats all over the place here. We have a tugboat from Curtin Maritime. We've gotten the okay, that conditions are okay to do this, and so we are going to, we're in full go mode here. I'm on the Maverick. This is a little production boat that we've made. I've got a whole team of people here. I've got my uh, social media manager right here. This is Vic. Vic, introduce yourself. Hi, Dan. Hi, guys. I'm Victoria. I'm the social media manager at the Ocean Cleanup. I'm so excited to be here. It's such a special day. Um, not only are we towing Interceptor 007, the first Interceptor in the United States to its deployment location, we're going to be live from all our projects around the world, including the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Um, so I'm here to monitor what's happening on social media. Please leave your questions in the live chat. We'll be monitoring these, answering them. Some of them will pick live. Um, yeah, great. So excited for this day ahead. <laughs> but how, how fun is this for you, too? This is the first time that you've seen an interceptor in real life also. So what is, what's your first impression of this thing? Uh, my first impression was, wow, it's bigger than I thought and it's so beautiful. How amazing is it? Not only does it clean rivers or intercept plastic in rivers, it is also such a cool machine. It looks like a spaceship. It's absolutely amazing. Yeah, and we're going to be, uh, it, it's, it's still very early in the morning here, so you can see it's a bit dark. Uh, but we need to tow this early because this is when the conditions are the best. So we have been told that we need to be towed out by around 6 a.m. in order for us to make it to Bayona Creek sometime before 12 because that's when it gets a bit rough. We are actually taking this thing out to the Pacific Ocean, which is a bit tricky for a tow like this. And uh, so, yeah, it looks like they are they're getting underway here. But over here, I got my Captain Blue behind the helm here on the Maverick. I've got a live drone guy over here named Aaron. He's with Transition Productions. We, we would not be able to do a production like this as the Ocean Cleanup. We are a small nonprofit, and so we get people excited with us in, the, in projects like this. What we thought we'd be doing is following the Interceptor like we normally do for the other previous Interceptors, and we'd just be tagging alongside. I'd have a camera. Normally, I'm on the other side of the camera, too. This has uh, been a bit interesting. but. Uh, we, we document all of our interceptor toes. We document everything at the Ocean Cleanup because we know the importance of, of sharing our story with you all who support us. Our partners love to see it. You guys love to see it. It helps us. It makes something like this exciting. The thing is, is that we have to always remember this is not an event. This is not something that should actually be ha happening. We're towing a river cleanup system. This is something that at times you think, hey, why are we making such a big deal? It's a, it's a river cleanup system. We're cleaning rivers. But we share the story. We want to be fully transparent with everything that we are doing with you all, our supporters. So this is one that we're doing that's live. So we have this live drone. We get people helping us. We got Wes Carter from uh, Atlantic Packaging who's hooking us up with some of his friends, live crew, trans transition productions. We're just going to be covering this thing and see what happens. There is no rhyme or reason to any of this, but we just want to share it all with you. And I know that there's a lot going on in uh, Rotterdam right now, too. So I'm going to toss it over to my buddy, Alex Tobin, and I want to see what you guys have going on over there. Alex, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Dan. It's great to see you, man. Even though it's still a bit dark out there, I realize you guys are up at a hellishly early time of day there. I am indeed in Rotterdam at the heart of Mission Control here uh, coming to you uh, during this whole live stream. Uh, this is going to be, uh, I'm surrounded by our engineers, our scientists, the whole crew here. You can probably see some of them behind me. I'll be popping in there in a minute uh, to uh, ask them a few pesky questions. Uh, we have a lot of people here who will be watching along intently uh, upstairs on our seventh floor. We're all really following this mission, and uh, it's so great to, to bring Interceptor 007 to our new home in Bayona Creek together. Uh, but first, before we get into 
you know, all of that. There's going to be a lot of information coming your way. We do realize that not everybody out there might know in detail, and you don't have to, what the ocean cleanup is and what we do. So we've prepared a little video for you, and it goes a little something like this. Well, there you have it, folks, in two minutes and some spare change in a nutshell. This is what we do at the Ocean Cleanup. And trust me, if you stay tuned with us today, you're going to learn a lot more. Now, while we wait for the interceptor in Los Angeles County to get going, and it's early there, so, you know, needs a little time to warm up. Uh, let me kind of walk you around here a little bit, show you uh, in the back here. I don't know if you can see uh, behind my glass. All the way in the back, we have our control room. We've got a crack production crew. Yes, they're waving. They can hear me. They can see me. And they're pulling in all of the feeds from all of our projects, uh, a lot of our projects, all over the world here. Um, so that's uh, Ace Crew and they're really their job is daunting. I've got the easy work. I'm just standing in front of the camera. But what they're doing today is beyond belief. Um, as I said earlier, I am not alone here at Mission Control. Um, we've got engineers here. We've got scientists here. And uh, I'm going to walk into the next room here and uh, just uh, see who we have uh, hanging around, looking very formal at a table here, like the Politburo is, uh, is having a little uh, meeting here. But uh, uh, if, if you could just introduce yourself and, and say what, you, what it is that you do at uh, the Ocean Cleanup. Hi, my name is Nisha, and I am responsible for setting up all the partnerships that together make, work, uh, make the interceptor work. Thanks, Nisha. And I think we'll be talking a little later. I'm going to go around the other side, if that's possible. I'm giving our cameraman a, a real workout here. Um, go go around here, and uh, I have with me somebody to my left who is? I'm Alice. Hi. I'm, so I'm one of the senior project managers here in the Rivers team, and uh, my role is to make sure that we deploy interceptors and interceptor solutions across the world. Excellent. And, and you'll have noticed already that this is a good-looking bunch of people that we have in this room here. And you're in luck, folks, because you're going to be seeing a whole lot more of them today as they dip in and out, have a chat with me. So, uh, you know, you'll have to take me uh, in, in this whole thing. But, you know, you, sir, with a very well-groomed beard, uh, who, who might you be? My name is Fedder. I'm a mechanical engineer in the ocean team. So my role is to... Um come up with a solution and make sure that this uh, plastic harvesting solution is operated in the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. And, and, and that's, that's going well, right, Feda? We have a solution, right? We have a solution that's working as we speak. We'll talk more about that later on. Thank you, Feda. And who might you be? Hi, my name is Stella. I'm the Catch Management Director here at the Ocean Cleanup. And my team ensures that everything we catch from oceans and rivers does not return into the environment. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of people out there really uh, want to know that everything that we fish out, we're not just, you know, we do not want that to, to return uh, anytime soon. Now, this last person, I don't know who he is. Uh, we, we should have called security on him, but some of you might recognize a familiar face here. Uh, last but not least, could you please introduce yourself and, and please tell us what it is that you do here, sir? Alex, we've been working together for half a year or something. You should know by now. I don't know. You're, you know, uh, you know in and out. You're a busy man. You're, you're, you know, you've got other stuff on, too. True, yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so Boyan Slat, founder and CEO at the Ocean Cleanup. Um, of course, some responsibilities to could be making decisions and driving the organization, but at the same time, try and spend most of my time more on the science and technology side to make sure 
that stuff works. And well, if, if we look at that screen right there, you, we're, we're seeing images of Interceptor 007 being you know, hooked up right now and, and ready to, to deploy to Bayona Creek. How does that make you feel when you see stuff like that? Does it, does it stay exciting? It does, for sure, yeah. It's uh, super cool. Of course, it's the, the 10th river we will be in uh, so far. So it's, um, yeah, so of course, <laughs> you do get... You said, but still, I mean, it's uh, just uh, hardware in real life, seeing shit happen. I mean, I oh. don't think that will ever get Dropping the S-bomb right away, so early in the morning. That's, he's the boss. He can do that. I'm uh, oh, sorry. That, sorry. That, that's okay. That's okay. We'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep it light here, everyone. Uh, I'm just getting a message that we have, and we're going to have this all throughout this, this uh, live stream, we're going to have a chance for you at home or wherever you may be to send in your questions via social media, via our various uh, online platforms. And I'm already hearing, uh, thanks to uh, Vic uh, prompting you earlier, that we already have a few questions in. So let's see if we've got time to take a look and see what has come in. I have in here a question for Boyan. Oh, well, good that I'm standing right next to you. Boyan, the, and this comes uh, via Instagram from Luca Grisendi, personal trainer. So always good to know personal trainers. Why don't you involve celebrities to support and promote the cleanup? Sure. Um, so there are a few involved. A good, good example is, uh, is Coldplay, who are now touring the world. And with every concert, they show imagery of the ocean cleanup. And, uh, of course, there's many that just like Luca himself presumably if it's a he, um, that, um, that share our, our stuff online. So that's, of course, we're thankful for. Uh, of course, the more people know about what we do, the, the, the better it is. Um, but, yeah, I think, of course, yeah, I don't really like the, the you know, some non-profits are kind of really, it's, it's all about the celebrities and about the, the show. You know, of course, the main thing we want to show is what it's about is about cleaning the oceans, uh, but of course, if they can amplify that mes message, uh, we love to have them be part of this, of course. Yeah. All right, cool. I, I hope that works for you, uh, Luca. And uh, we've got time for, for one more question.